Now in India, the state of Uttarakhand tabled an important bill today. The Uniform Civil Court, UCC for short. You see, in India, there are personal laws, which means each religion has its own laws, crafted according to their needs. But the UCC changes that, at least it proposes to change that. It proposes a set of laws that governs all citizens, like marriage, divorce, adoption, inheritance, and even succession. What we are going to talk about today is only for the state of Uttarakhand. After the Uttarakhand cabinet agreed on the content of it, the chief minister tabled the bill in the state assembly. It is a four volume document with 749 pages. The chief minister claims it will be good for all sections of the society and also aligns with Prime Minister Narendra Modi's national vision. Let me get you the big takeaways. Right off the bat, let me tell you, none of these laws are for the tribal communities in India. First, we have the section that regulates live-in relationships. Now, this is important. The bill makes it obligatory for live-in relationship partners to declare the status. This is for everyone, whether they are Uttarakhand residents or not. All couples will have to submit a statement of their live-in relationship, following which the registrar will conduct an inquiry. Any couple that defies this or more than a, for more than a month, that is, will be punished, either with a prison sentence of up to three months or a fine of up to rupees 10,000. In case the live-in relationship is terminated, even then, the couple will have to report it back to the registrar. Let's now come to the marriage section. This bill says that it actually lays down about five conditions of a marriage. First, neither party has a spouse living at the time of the marriage. This means that bigamy or polygamy is not allowed. Second is consent of both partners. Third is the man and woman should be above the age of 18. Fourth, marriage is not prohibited under any other law. And fifth, the last one, the union should not be under prohibited relationships. Third comes divorce. Both men and women can approach a court for divorce on various grounds like adultery, mental or physical cruelty or abuse, desertion without cause and etc. There are a couple of other reasons listed. Women have special rights to seek divorce if the husband has been found guilty of rape and a couple cannot approach the court for divorce in less than one year of their marriage. This has some exceptional cases. A special session of the Assembly has already been convened till February 8th. If the bill is passed, it's important to note that Uttarakhand will become the first Indian state after independence to have a uniform civil code. Goa has a similar civil code that was implemented during the Portuguese colonial era.